Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a dialogue system for your games. So if we go up to this dummy, you can see interact pops up. We click on it, it says hello there player, you can click next. This is a dialogue system test. Do you like it? Currently we're testing out the dialogue sequence and then it says goodbye and we end the conversation. And we could do it as many times as we want. So in today's video, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up my dialogue system kit version 1. All right, so the first thing that we're going to go over is how to actually like set up the dialogue UI, which is right here. So in the UI, when you open it, insert it into starter UI, you'll see there's four different things. We have target event. Don't touch this at all. Don't touch this at all. The handler, the main and the dialogue sequence. If you want to customize how this looks, the main is where you want to go. This uh, is the background color here. This makes the background color of it, uh, the background color of the main. You have the continue button, which is right here. You guys can change this up, details it as ever much as you want. You can add a stroke to it. You can add whatever the hell you want to it, pretty much. So that, then you have the picture. This uh, in here, this image, you can add like an image of like the NPC or something that you're talking to if you want to do that. The dialogue box, um, which holds all of the dialogue that we're currently on, and then the name of the character that you want to um that you're talking to so that's all for the customization aspect of it everything in here you can change try not to don't rename anything keep everything named you can add on stuff that you want like add on more frames and stuff you don't need to worry about the names of those but make sure the core five things here are all named properly are all just keep them the same name inside of the handler I wouldn't really touch anything in here. You don't really need to touch anything in here unless you want to change like um, like the like the tween. Like as you saw at the end, it tweened out. It went down. Maybe you want to like make it go somewhere else. So right here is the position that it goes to. Maybe you can change that. This is how long it takes. You could change that. The easy stuff. I would change only this pretty much. Also, whatever you set this to, make sure you set the weight to as well. Um, but yeah, that's really it for the handler. And I guess if you want to change like the text that gets displayed when it's like the, like you can maybe have it say like leave instead of end, you would change that right here and right here, these two. So that's really it for the handler. And now the dialogue sequence. So I made it very easy to add more dialogue, keep them numbered. So like the first dialogue, second, third, fourth, like that. But if you want to add more dialogue, it's simple. So the fourth right now is my last one. It says goodbye. I'll duplicate that. I'll set that. I'll set goodbye to five. And then in four, we could put like, I don't know. This is the fourth dialogue. And now if we hit play, you'll see that now we have four things before the end. So for the goodbye, I mean, so this is hello there player. This is a dialogue system test. Do you like it? Currently, we're testing out the dialogue sequence. This is the fourth dialogue next, and then it says goodbye, and then we end it. So you guys can add as many pieces of dialogue as you want in here. Just make sure they're numbered, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. And just make that last, the last thing you want in it. The, first of all, make it the last number, and that's really all you need to do. So like if I had if I had 10 things before this, I would this would be 11. If I had 10 different things of dialogue before the last one, this would be marked 11. So very easy system to set up and to add new dialogue to. And now if I remove that fourth one and I make the goodbye the fourth one now, you'll see that it ends after four. So very easy system. I made it on purpose that easy because I want you guys to be able to edit it to your liking. Again, you guys just if you, whatever you want the text to display the values are in here. So if you wanted to say like, you know, by player, you put it in there. If you want these to say something different, again, you don't even need, you could have two pieces of dialogue in here. You could just have one, two, right? But um, yeah, so very easy system. The next thing, this will be in replicated storage, by the way. The next thing is the dummy. So what to interact with the dummy. So. In the dummy, in the humanoid root part, there's an attachment. This is what holds the proximity prompt. In the proximity prompt, there is a destroy event. Do not remove this. Uh, and then the script to handle the prompt. I, there's no point in changing anything in here. Um, yeah, there's absolutely no point changing anything in there. I'm trying to think. Maybe the only thing you would change 
is let's say you had like the dialog UI in like a folder in Replicate Storage or something, or you had it in a different service than Replicate uh, Storage, then you would need to change this to whatever service your uh, whatever service the dialog UI is in. And also, if it's in a folder, you would do like Replicate Storage dot name of folder. So like the name of the folder dot dialog UI clone clone something like that. But I really wouldn't touch this. And I would just leave dialog UI in the replicated storage. Really, the only things you guys need to touch is the dialog sequence and maybe the handler a little bit and then the main if you want to customize it at all. So this will be linked in the description. Um, like I said, very easy system, very easy to add new dialog and remove dialog. Um, maybe I can make an a more advanced one down the line if that's something you guys want to see with like where you can actually respond to the dialog. Like you have different responses. So like you can have like do you want this item and then there could be yes or no and then there could be different branches of the dialogue that go off that's very advanced though that would be harder to make but like i said if you guys want to see it i'll make it um so yeah like, like i said link in the description if you guys have any questions comments or concerns join my discord server in the description ask them there don't ask them in the comments i probably won't respond honestly so if you guys want help on whatever scripting problems you're having or game dev problems you're having, join my Discord, ask me in there. I'll, you have much higher chances of me getting a getting response in there than you are in the comments. So join that Discord. If you guys like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, I just laughed. I don't know why. But um, anyway, that's it for today's video. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.